To, uh, I wanted to share with you some some moves I do on acoustic guitar when I'm I, right now I've got a capo on the second fret I like the sound of it it's a slightly different sound moving it up and down in the neck I, I love the the sound of the capo but I'm I'm finger picking right now and I wanted to show you guys a couple uh, cool moves I'm just going from uh, we're calling it as we see it here the G C D which is one four five so G C D but I'm actually moving up uh, to some alternate chords that you might find interesting. So when I go to the, I go from the G, and, and often on that G, I'll just, uh, I'll get the third fret on the B, I'll pick it up. And I might not always hit the, that, that note, high G. Sometimes I do if I'm, if I'm strumming or whatever. But sometimes I'll keep it, I'll keep the, the, the thing, you know, basic. So I'm like a down, down. So down, down, up, up, down. And I'm not going to take that apart too long because I, I do a whole course on that at jimmydillon.com. But I'm on the low E and then the D string and then up on the B, up on the G, but second and first finger. So thumb, second, first, and then down on that D string. So if you put it together, it sounds like this. Which sounds rudimentary until you get it rolling. And it's cool. So if you don't know how to do that, that's fine. You can study that and practice at home when you're watching TV or whatever, just do it over and over. Down, down, up, up, down. Kind of a rolling picking thing, kind of Travis picking. But how it applies to these, what I'm about to show you in this lesson, I think is important because I like the idea of being able to play a, a simple G chord and then also to move stuff around. All I'm doing is pulling off the B string, right, third fret, and then just open it. And I think, you know, when you're, especially when you cape it up, like it's got that kind of chimey quality, right? So anyway, going from a G, just very simple, nothing much going on there. Maybe pulling that up or maybe a hammer on on the D or the G string. I like the sound of that. And then work on the G string. All those will work for you. So you can, uh, the second fret is just wide open to, you don't really have to do much, you know, because you're already, Keep in mind you're using that pinky on the uh, third fret of the B. And I like the sound of this because you're adding flavor, you know, kind of I call it the special sauce. Get so much mileage. So what, what that allows me to do, especially in a finger picking kind of mood, it allows me to have an interior melody going on. It doesn't have to be anything particular. It doesn't have to be perfect. It could just be just uh, some notes that I'm dropping in. Get all that just out of one chord. I'm still keeping that. You get a lot of a lot of voicings, a lot of cool stuff there. Okay, and now I'm going to go to my four chord, which is a C. And you can do the same type of move. on so let's make that really super dead simple um, a simple way to do that would be you get your G chord and then hammer on the second fret of the D string and let that G ring out simple enough right so yeah I like it let's move to the C I'm doing is hammering on that D string and letting that G ring out. And back to the, to the G, no, the G chord, sorry. And then 
if you want to slide that C form, this is where we get a little different voicing. Up two frets, you get a D. Love that chord. Kind of a, what's that, like a Simon and Garfunkel chord. Which is that, it's, it's just another form of hitting, you hit a D like this. But this one to me, for my money, sounds good. Almost got like a almost got a lick going just by the fact that I've moved this C chord up to D, and then you go back to your C. If you want to hammer on, you can. So what I've done there is, uh, and I'm only realizing this as I teach it. I, I just kind of teach what I'm feeling at the moment by bouncing off of that D and the G, and working that D and G string, and then when I do the same move when I go to C. Pinch it or, or finger pick. Doesn't have to always be a pattern. I'm just, I'm just pinching the G and the B over and over. Or finger pick it. And then back to the G. What I like about that is uh, it's, I like it when there's a re what they call a recurring theme. So that that's happening over the changes. And I, I love the sound of an open string over changes. So it sounded like. So to me, that's, that's something that the ear, my ear can grab onto. So going from a, you know, one, four, five change, instead of just doing a, nothing wrong with that, fine, depending on the song. But if we're playing a song that has maybe some finger picking in it or whatever the nature of the, of the song is, um, and you sort of add that, that, that theme that runs through it, exercise is how about just doing working off the, the D and the G string and, and letting that thing roll right let get get into the roll of it here's one you can just practice so what I'm doing there is I'm, I'm, I'm basically hitting the down on the low string low E and then here I'm pinching the B and the G string and then the hammer on the two of the D if you get just that, and then the same thing on the C, same exact move. And then hit that, that cool D, maybe finger pick that, and then back to your G. You got a song, really. I think I, think I just wrote a song. So here's what it sounds like, and I'm going to leave you with this. I'm going to take it a few other places and show you what you can do. And if you hit me up at jimmydillon.com, you'll see some, I got all kinds of forward slash free, or just check out my website. And uh, please hit me up on that and let me know what you guys are, are thinking of lesson-wise. But I try to extend, you know, more than just teaching songs, which I do quite a bit of. I try to give you guys some tools that you can add to a song, whether it's your own or, or playing a your version of a classic, you know, I just did some Bob Dylan or whatever it is. So now I'm going to do the same thing I just showed you, and I'm going to I'm going to give you a little more tempo, and I'm going to do some things with it. I don't know where I'm going to go, but I'm going to go somewhere. Here we go. So I'm really 
fond of, uh, of fingerstyle guitars, you can tell by now. Um, some of my favorite players, Dominic Miller from Sting's band and uh, you know Mark Knopfler, some of my favorite you know guitar uh, people I look up to, really, honestly. They, they do fingerstyle and they're really into it. And I think it's a fun thing, especially on acoustic, I, although I do it in electric as well. So I hope you enjoyed that little exercise and let me know what you think of it. Love to hear your comments and we'll see you down the road.